What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we've got a little DIY project for you guys. I actually am getting a set of wheels refinished and if you guys saw a previous video, I actually have an extra set of 437M wheels for my F30. So this is what we currently have in the car. These are my gloss black 437M wheels. And I have a second set of these that were actually silver that I'm gonna have refinished and I will be using for my winter setup. So the 437M wheels that I have that are silver are actually used. They came off of a BMW M4 and they're over at my powder coater JSC coatings out in Milford, Ohio. So definitely go check them out as well. But they did also come with some OEM BMW center caps right here. And the problem with these are they're a little bit messed up. And so I don't really want to purchase another set of these. I can easily, they're not very expensive, but I kind of wanted to do a little DIY project to see if I can kind of refinish these and bring them back to life. All right, so here is a current condition of these center caps that are kind of a little bit messed up. As you can see, they're not in the greatest shape, but I kind of want to just keep them and get them to an acceptable standard to put on the actual car. So there are some little scratches and stuff that I won't be able to get off. But my main concern is the corrosion that's kind of happening around this chrome lip. And pretty much every single one of them has this. And this seems to be a pretty common issue uh, with center caps, I think just moisture gets caught between the center cap and the actual wheel. And so it kind of has this corrosion effect, especially on the edges. So as you can see, there is corrosion pretty much on every single one of them. So I've already started on this one just to try to do some sanding on the chrome and see if I can get some of the stuff to disappear. And my plan is actually to uh, spray paint the chrome ring around the edges. So that's kind of a, the new thing that a lot of uh, companies are doing now, IND Distribution, Impulse Designs. Um, those are kind of companies that have been making OEM roundels that are, you know, with the gloss black or matte black surround. And so I'm kind of gonna use that same concept with these. I'm obviously no painter or anything, but uh, I am going to tackle it just because these are, you know, not in the best shape and I might as well give it a shot. So I do actually have some, let's see, I do have some rust gloss black or satin black rather, spray paint here. So I actually got this on Amazon and uh, these are pretty much the only tools that we're gonna be using. So as you can see, I've got some painter's tape here, which I'm going to use to mask off the areas that I don't want to screw up slash paint. Um, I do have some 200 or 220 grit fine sandpaper. And then I do also have a sanding block here. So what I'm gonna do is kind of take you guys through the process and hopefully we can kind of bring these back to some sort of um, acceptable you know, condition. So like I said, I've already got this one kind of started a little bit. Obviously it's not gonna be perfect, but a lot of this is going to be in the prep work. So I am gonna to touch this up a little bit more, see if I can sand a little more on these edges to kind of get rid of this weirdo corrosion that's happening here and make it a flat surface. Um, additionally, I don't think that paint really sticks to chrome very well. So if you scuff up this area, it should give it a little bit more texture, I guess, for the uh, paint to grab onto. So what I'm gonna do first is continue to tape off this entire thing here. That way we don't have any overspray and then we'll get to sanding. Okay, so pretty much just did that whole process all the way around this whole chrome area, scuffed it all up, got it in a decent place. Obviously you can still see some of the corrosion there, but it's flat now, which is good. Whereas before it, you know, it was sticking up and you could actually feel it. So now that I have this pretty much scuffed up, um, obviously there are some little areas like this is like a rock chip or something that, you know, I'm not gonna fully be able to get out, but um, it's an acceptable standard, I think. And uh, again, these are going on my winter set, so not totally concerned, but figured I'd give it a shot. So now that we've got this one done, I'm gonna do the exact same thing to these other three, and then we'll come back to you when it's time to paint this stuff. Okay guys, so that was a little bit time consuming, but as you can see, I've got it all taped up as best as I could probably do. I mean, I'm not gonna spend too much crazy time on this. I also figured I would tape the backside a little bit where the black, uh, where the black parts are, where it actually connects to the hub because I don't want to add any additional thickness by, you know, when I go ahead and spray paint this stuff. So I just figured I'd wrap that as well in some tape. So literally only the chrome is exposed. So I did that on all four, as you guys can see. So now I think we're ready to go ahead and paint this. Um, should just be a quick and easy rattle can and that's it. So let's get to it. All right, so I figure I'm gonna do this outside. I don't get spray paint everywhere. 
shaking this up for about a minute. And now I'm just gonna spray this on here and call it a day. Okay, so this bottle of spray paint says that it's dry to the touch in about 20 minutes to handle in one hour and fully dry in 24 hours. So after that, we can assess and see if we wanna apply a second coat, but with it being such a small little area, I don't think that we will, but so if you guys need some of this, it's Rust-Oleum uh, paint and primer satin. So that's what we're going with. All right guys, so I feel like this has probably been long enough. It's been a couple of hours, kind of sat in the sun for a little bit and then just sat here in the garage. It's like 70 some degrees out, it's perfect outside. So I think these are pretty dry. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull the tape off and we'll see what we get. Go ahead and carefully pull this tape off of here. Find an edge. So this is obviously not gonna be a professional job but for being virtually free, you know, I'm not gonna complain, so. So far, so good. Not seeing any chrome, so that's good. This might be a minute. All right, so I pulled one off, and as you can see, there is a little bit of chrome showing, so. That's why it's important for proper prep and make sure that your tape is covering all the chrome. So I did pull a little bit of it off as I was pulling the tape off. So I think we're gonna probably have to hit this with a second coat. But um, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull the other ones off and we'll see how that looks. All right, so I pulled the tops off of all of them. I did decide to leave the backs on for now because if I do a touch up, which I'm going to, um, instead of pulling all this off, I might as well just leave it on. So the front I pulled off just because I wanted to see what they look like. Obviously every single one of them has a little bit of chrome showing, so that's kind of what happens when you don't mask it fully. So decent job otherwise. So I think I'm going to go ahead and retape um, the faces and then do another coat. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the final outcome. This is after two coats and it looks much better. So again, not completely perfect since these were not in the best of shape to begin with, but I think it looks pretty decent and we deleted some chrome. So overall, happy. And again, this is for my winter set, so not too bad. Guys, that just about does it for today's video. Hopefully that was helpful for you guys if you are trying to kind of revive your stock center caps and want to try to save some money and not buy some new ones. So hopefully that was helpful. If you guys have any comments, questions, or concerns, please let me know. Otherwise, we will see you guys on the next video. Take care, stay tuned for more. We'll see you then.